Target Games was a Swedish publisher of role-playing games active from 1980 until the year 1999 when they went into bankruptcy proceedings. Topic: Publications. They published much of their early material in the form of stapled books in G5 169 by 239 mm format in a box together with dice. They released the role-playing games Drakkar och Demoner 1982, Mutant 1984 with the later versions Mutant 1989, Mutant RYMD 1992 and Mutant Chronicles, Cult 1991, Chalk 1985, a translation of Chill, Sagan Om Ringen 1986, a translation of Middle Earth role-playing and Saint Jarnornas Kerig 1988, a translation of the Weg Star Wars role-playing game. Target Games also published Warzone and Chronopia, a miniature wargames. They also released three generic source books: Grimkaft's Fowler, 1987, translated from the classic game supplement Grimtooth's Traps, Stadcentermedzon, 1988, and Skatkameron, 1988, as well as many adventures and source books for their games. Until the mid-1990s, Target Games published their Swedish role-playing games under the brand name Eventerspel, meaning adventure games. Target Games was reconstructed in 1999 and ceased publication of all of its inventory and the intellectual property rights were transferred to the daughter company Paradox Entertainment, which later became an independent company. Some of the titles have since been licensed to new game companies. Beside role-playing games, the company had its own magazine named Syncatus, published translated gamebooks the Lone Wolf series among others as well as translated fantasy novels beginning with a Conan the Barbarian book. Target Games also published a Drakkar och Demoner computer game in 1999. Original products Topic Drakkar and Demoner The fantasy role-playing Drakkar and Demoner first edition published in 1982 was Target Games' best-selling series of games. Today the Drakkar and Demoner brand is owned by Swedish company Riotminds. The rules of the various Target Games editions of the game were all based on the basic role-playing system, with the first editions being translations without major changes. The earlier editions didn't include any campaign setting except for some information about generic fantasy creatures and so on. Over time, different writers created the Arab Alter campaign setting piecemeal in adventures and source books. For the fifth edition, released in 1994, a new setting was created, dubbed Chronopia, that had a darker tone. Topic. Mutant The name Mutant was used for a series of related science fiction-themed role-playing games. The 1984 version was set in a post-apocalyptic world similar to the one in Gamma World. Mutant 2 1986 was an expansion module with more advanced rules. The 1989 version was a cyberpunk game while the later Mutant RYMD and Mutant Chronicles first edition 1993 were science fantasy games set in the solar system. These versions used variants of the basic role-playing rule system. Later Mutant games include Heirs to the Apocalypse by Jarneringen, and Year Zero by Free League. <laughs> Mutant Chronicles. An offshoot of Mutant, as a RPG set in a dystopic future solar system, Mutant Chronicles evolved into a brand of its own. The Mutant Chronicles brand later became so popular that it spawned multiple spin-offs as well, most notably the Doom Trooper collectible card game as well as the Warzone miniature wargame. Cult Cult is a horror-themed game and was first released in 1991. The setting was inspired by Gnostic philosophy and horror films such as Hellraiser. The violent horror themes of the game made it subject of controversy in Sweden on multiple occasions. This resulted in Swedish toy stores refusing to sell the game. There was three editions based on the original rule set published in Swedish, English and more by several companies. 2018 will see a brand new edition Divinity Lost by Helmgast, using a version of Apocalypse World Engine. 